All right, we are getting the first game of Underachievers. Getting Cole back from injury tonight for the first time all winter, well, since Christmas break. Oh yeah, we brought these balls over for all you guys. So we wanted to make sure and get a game with Ben and Cole. Ben there in the blue spike ball shirt. Cole with the blonde hair. They're going to be fighting for that fourth spot in Utah. Unfortunately, they're not going to be here for half the season as Ben's going to be going home for the home to California for the summer. Ooh. Church getting that jam serve. Ooh, cold. Ah, oh, getting that roll-up pocket. Darren, mm, easy little back flick. Solid rally to begin the game with. Church with the lobster trap on serve one. But anyway, Ben and Cole, yeah, hoping to, uh, there's a lot of teams fighting for that fourth spot. Ooh, it's pulled. Ben, or as Cole gets that uh, jam serve up to Ben. Now the Hertzlers are also looking to make a name for themselves after taking two podiums in a row. First one in Riverside and then uh, taking third place there. And then back to back weeks taking third place at our Dixie tournament. Over there another one both looking to get Premier. I think that would be a typical Jaron tweener that he has. I haven't seen a tweener out of him the last three games. Cole is getting a hard serve. Ooh, and that body defense. Ben was saying that's one of his greatest strengths is his body defense. We go Jaron to Ben. Front room. Jaron serves not Ben totally on the last few games. Although, there's a cut. Ben gets it though. Pushes it, but Jaron's there. There's the hard backhand that Ben probably needed there. Jaron took care of it. Ben was the victim of some mean cut serves that Jaron put on earlier. Another game. Oh, Jaren putting a jam right into Cole's body. It's the thing with these with these hard serves. If you've got a you know a variety of them, it's hard to read, and if the server knows knows how to read the defense. You put it right at him as Ben takes care of that jam. Can't finish with the tweener. Trying to give Jaren a taste of his own medicine. Some Gucci medicine. Church coaching up Ben a little bit here. Teach him a little bit about uh, coming in for the, the finish. About not getting too too close too fast. If you don't get a good set, then you jam yourself up. Just trying to time your approach to the net a little bit better. And the count is three seven. Underachievers against Church and Jaron. With the low, maybe a little bit of a cut serve. Church gets the roll up to go over Cole's head. We go 8 3 Church with the behind the back. Church probably has the greatest variety of serves in the state. He's got a lot of different stances. And you can put a jam or a jam right there on Ben. Cole's set. Back side of the net. 
variety of stances and he can jam you and touch you or short serve on any of them. There's his step left. There's his one that he's been working on tonight. Is standing goofy footed like a lefty server would. Right here, you see it again. Halfway. So this one's only 45 degrees. Earlier tonight, he's been, well, you might see it. He's been pulling out full lefty stance. But then he steps out, he's, he's, he's kind of off to the off to the right. And so then when he takes a back step and serves it righty, he's, I mean, essentially cheating as a server to be able to, uh, <laughs> There's about five balls behind us. Drew just claiming you're all his aces. Hey, I'm just trying to talk shit. Twelve four. It's a rough game for underachievers. Ben handles that. Jam steps back a little bit. I think as a uh, little coaching from church. Cole with a pretty good set from distance though. Jaren set too far off and church not close enough to the net on that one. Five twelve as Jaron catches that rimmer between his legs. Thirteen five. Church putting some spin on that jam. Oh, Cole getting it back right on the net, but not able to get outside that rim on the second bounce. And as you see Church turning you know, forty-five degrees away from the net. Now he'll line up straight at it, going with the drop. Ben getting there. Ooh, not a not a hard finish there, but well placed. San Diego, we're gonna have a good amount of Utah teams. It sounds like. Ooh, Cole with the Fuego Ace. Got a long reach on that one. 14 Cole's not going to be able to make it to San Diego, so Ben will be playing with uh, one of his buddies from California. That's where Ben is from. But we'll have Spikers Anonymous, Gucci, Megahertz. You are going to lose. Made of me and Creech. Not sure if that's going to be our name, but it's been our standard, my standard team name with the UR initials for Utah Round Net. Jaren, double faulting again. And we search for balls again. It was a lot cleaner when we've got a ball boy. With, uh, with the new double fault rule, the balls need to be cheaper. <laughs> There you go, Spike Ball Inc. While you're up at your retreat in Breckenridge, churches claim that make balls cheaper. Although when we've had ball boys, games have been going very smoothly, which we've generally had someone during even these pickup games, but then also especially you know, during our finals matches at our tournaments, we'll have observers and a ball boy at least one of each. Keep things running smoothly. Probably a, ooh, oh, probably a reach in on that drop served by Ben. Church still able to get it, it bounced pretty high. Ben not quite able to get that in one motion. Church 
facing away from the net. Ben calling pocket. Well, it was a well played first two hits at least. Going for the straight on serve, going for the cut on that stance. Getting church right in the body. Ten sixteen. Cole going to Jaron. Jaron takes that. Ooh. Flings that backhand, maybe gets half his fingers on it. Good enough. Oh, with that jam. A lot of jam serves tonight. A lot of jam aces. Church was getting Jaren earlier tonight, putting it in his chest. Jaren's put some on Cole. Likes to give Ben the cut though. Ben handling the fir good first touch. A little late run into the net. Those are some. The church is really good at. That uh, oh, bad set with Cole. Bad set by Ben to Cole. Cole trying to go with the tweener, not handling it. Pocket for a double fault. Good one, two, but Jaron not hitting that hard enough to finish it. And that is game one. We'll see if we want to do game two.